if you have been living under a rock here five days ago today, Donald Trump was almost assassinated by a 20 year old guy that was a resident Republican that based on phone records was canvassed in the area a couple days before the, the uh, Trump rally. And also some internet chat says that he was um, researching some of the Iranian shit and then it's a lot of shit going on with that. Okay. Um, we all know the Iranians are mad with Trump because the Trump assassinated one of the leaders of ISIS back in the day, even though he kind of did it against uh, the rules of regulation. Okay, but that's besides the point. And I don't want to dive into that with with the army bases being then hit back with uh, rocket attacks after that fact. We're not going to dive into that. That's not that has nothing to do with that. This is about Trump almost being assassinated. What's going on now with the fallout, backlash, and Joe Biden? So I'm gonna be as quick as I can this video because tonight is going to be a pivotal point because I'm watching the RNC, right? And uh, Trump speaks tonight. Now, I'm not going to lie to you the last couple of nights with the RNC. Some of those people up there talking shouldn't have been up there. Tim Scott forgot he was a nigga. I'm sorry. And Vivi Ramaswamy, R- Ramasalami, okay? She shut up too. And Dr. Ben Carson, I don't even, he sleep. He don't even fucking know. Okay. But more about Tim Scott and them in a later video. Okay. Ted Cruz don't care about his constituents in Texas because he fled when they were freezing over in Texas. That bitch went to Mexico so fucking well. All right. And 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 the big black fat chick from New York that was yelling the whole time. Not even gonna get into that. Anyway. There's a lot of conspiracy going around about the whole thing with Trump. Now, that guy wasn't no Chris Kyle. You know who Chris Kyle is? One of the greatest Navy SEALs to ever pick up a sniper rifle and do his job. Over 150 confirmed kills. Okay. Everybody knew about the Devil Ramadi. Every combat vet that played in Iraq knew about the Devil Ramadi. All right. Um, so he wasn't no Chris Kyle. All right. And a lot of people think that. Him accessing that area that should have been secured was a setup for him to take a shot at Trump. The person dying behind Trump was collateral damage. That's not true at all. Uh, Because he actually had pictures in his phone of Joe Biden as well. So his mindset was, after I kill Donald Trump, I'm going to go after Joe Biden. All that made the news today, you can look it up yourself. Okay? Now, Trump came as close as the asshole to a vagina opening from losing his fucking right temple. We all know that is a little small inch worth of space between your booty hole and your vagina, women. Or from your nut sacks to your asshole, man. It's not that much of a gift. It grazed them like this here. I'm not going to get to the logistics of probably why he missed shooting that AR-style rifle. They probably never shot a in his life. It belonged to his dad. Probably never had no form of shooting, no aiming, no breathe. That's aim and squeeze. He rushed shot, and you can tell by the way the shots came in succession. But that's besides the point. I don't think it was conspiracy. I don't. I think I think if this is indeed true with Iranian and all the, the countries that don't like Trump, to brainwash a someone that's young this is the problem with social media this is why america and most of the world is the way that it is right now because there's so much violent shit being accessed on the internet so much brainwashing on the internet that people just forgot to put the devices down and get outside and just live a little and i suffer with post-traumatic stress i'm a big firm believer in mental health because i have to battle with my mind daily due to me going to iraq and coming back so you can easily be manipulated at a young age and a lot of people don't put these down and find something productive to do like get outside and be one with fucking nature okay uh but if he was indeed brainwashed and did think that shit was gonna get better but worse um or maybe 
the militia group threatened his family because he got too deep involved with what was going on. That, you know, that happened. Um, I can't wait for more of it to come out uh, because I'm interested in why the man took a shot at the former president. Now, everybody has a right to their opinion. Everybody has a right to their opinion. I know what it's like to be grazed by shit. You can see that scar. Okay, it's bad. It used to be real bad. But that's a scar on my nose. It eased up. I got a scar on my nose. Yeah, it, it eased up. My scratch, you can kind of see that scar. I know what it's like to be grazed by shit. Scrapnel, you know, grazing the leg and stuff. That, that shit will make you rethink some fucking things, right? When some could have easily went through the eye and killed me. I know what it's like to have some, you know, that shit is no fucking fun. It, it, it'll change your life. It'll change your life. And speaking of that, I've never been a big Trump supporter. I, I always respected that he didn't care about speaking his mind. But to get grazed by a bullet that had your name on it, then to stand up and go fight, 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 right? He didn't bow down. He didn't go into hiding, right? Um, he was like, hey, I'm fighting for, for presidency. And I think there's some other driving factors, like he still faces some charges down here in Georgia and stuff. And him become president, he can kind of push that shit into the rug. So I think he knows he's in too deep and he just can't quit right now. And him running the country will put him over a lot of shit that he can just kind of sweep under the rug. But even with all that, your life is more important. And for him to say, hey, I want to be president again that bad, to not to go into hiding. That means he has a lot of balls. I'm sorry. All right, you got you got to acknowledge that. That's that's military minded shit, right? That's just how we was brainwashed the military. That's you get hit if you're not dead, you stay in the fight. Period. Uh, for him to be at the RNC all nights, show himself, um, not embarrassed about the patch on his ear. You know, um, he looks a little bit more humble. I think the trauma hasn't set in yet. Uh, and I know all about trauma. It takes a, a while. But if he isn't getting some psychological help, my advice is get it. I have therapy. I've been in therapy for a decade. It helps to talk. So he looks a little bit detained a little bit. And I hope he keeps that rhetoric. Uh, because if he go in with, with bloodlust, it's only going to get worse. As a matter of fact, I think there was another attempt at him uh, Monday. The cops got that guy in Minneapolis, and I think somebody got arrested trying to go after Joe Biden. Uh, you all remember my live stream I did about two weeks ago, maybe about three weeks. I had said this, and I said this, and I'm going to go over again in the, in the next live stream that I do next weekend. That um, I'm always getting text messages that um politicians overseas was being targeted in the uk especially and i said i wouldn't be surprised if i see that happen in america and it's happening you got the president the former president and some other politicians that had their name in that guy uh phone that shot at trump as potential targets then you got old ass Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, everybody in Congress that's begging Biden to sit down. What about you old fucks? Especially Nancy Pelosi. You want to blame Biden if, if he'll get reelected, that the House might not get reelected? Y'all wouldn't have lost the House if you would have been doing your fucking job and not going out to Donald Trump for that January 6th shit. You were the House Speaker. That's why you lost your job to Kevin McCarthy. Because you were so gun ho trying to get Trump instead of being gun ho on America. That's why you and Chuck Schumer and the rest of those motherfuckers lost the opposition. Well, Trump became the majority leader. He used to be the minority. Now, um, what's his name? Uh, Mitch McConnell is the minority, but he's retiring in November. Thank God he got some sense. He realized he's too old to do a fucking job. Next below is like a goddamn mummy. It's a whole bunch I did in the live stream. It's a lot of y'all in y'all 80s, 90s. The average age in Congress is 60. 
I think you should work up to your about 65. Then get your asses up out of there. Let some younger people come there in their 40s and 30s and 50s that can cognitively think. I think the president age should be 65 and younger. I think I think 40 to 65 is the prime age for someone mature enough to run the country. Once you hit 70, you shouldn't be working. You should be retired, man. I'm sorry. Because your mind, you don't click on all cylinders. Yes, Trump might have more of a cognitive advantage on, on Biden, but he's 78. He'll be 80 in less than two years. Trump do four four years, he'd be 82. Now, of course, after that second term, if he gets reelected, he can't do another one. He can only do eight years. Where the, and one whole, you know, you do a term, get reelected, and do your second one back-to-back for eight, or you do a four, lose the election, come back, and then do your other four. So at least he'll be president till he's 82. I mean, you know, Biden's 81, trying to get reelected to he's damn near 85, 86. I think Trump, I think this should be the last election cycle where you have presidents and former presidents at that old age going at it for office. And I think a lot of it needs to be redone in Congress. I think even the justices, I think once they get to be 65, they should retire. They, they, because you're get stuck in your old ways, and you're not gonna want to change with the times. Period. Period. Uh, I'm looking forward to see what Trump's gonna say tonight. I hope he talk about unity, putting America first, and all the means by make aiming great again. My ass got arrested. Was a funny one back before all this happened. But I seen one that says my ass got assassinated. And I've seen it. If Trump would have got assassinated, that, that, that would be a trend. My manga stand for my ass got assassinated. That is some fucked up ass shit. That is some fucked up ass shit. Some of y'all motherfuckers are just cold. My ass got assassinated. Or assassin. <laughs> my ass got assassinated. That is some cold shit. But as far as Trump running mate goes, J.D. Vance, he's not to be trusted. Everyone that said all that negative shit and then flip flop and now kissing Trump ass, that's why you can't trust politics. Look at what's going on in the Democratic Party right now. Everybody was Joe Biden whole before that debate. Now, all the people in Congress, even the old farts who are probably wearing diapers, Nancy Pelosi, your husband got his head bashed in a couple years ago. That shows where your loyalty lies. It ain't with your fucking husband. You should have stepped down after he almost got his brain bashed in. So, y'all so power hungry. It's crazy to me. It's crazy. You worked your whole life. Now you want to retire. Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, you old motherfuckers. I know all y'all old. Oh, won't retire. Just won't just live your life in retirement. But all y'all now turn on, on Joe Biden. Because y'all afraid y'all gonna lose your job, your positions come election time. Y'all wouldn't be in that dilemma if you will just do your fucking jobs. I think the whole party system needs to just be taken away. It should be one uniform party. That's it. President still won't have maximum power. The reason why the party system was created is so one can blame the other for failures. That is it. And this is why the country is so divided. I cannot stress that enough. That's why I don't believe in the party system. I'm not for party. I would never be a resident Democrat or a resident Republican. I just vote for what I think will do a fucking job. Because when you get behind a party, this is what happens. If you're not Democrat, you're wrong. Not Republican, you're wrong. I'm more of an independent. I just, I look at who's out there like, no, I think this person will do a goddamn good job. But I think, I think the, the Democrat and the Republican system as a whole is just flawed. It's a failure of epic proportions. And it's not going to get better until 
all those old heads that's in there right now that's in too deep. Get the fuck out of there. And let some young people come in there in their late, mid to late 30s up to about age 60 to come in there and do some change. And then hopefully in 2028, if there's still a fucking America to be proud of, we can finally see some progress. Not saying that things are not progressing, but there's a lot of hate in this world, and especially in this country right now. There's no love. And for someone that's been to a combat zone, that's what you see is a lot of hate and anger in a combat zone. A lot of death, destruction, fear, the unknown. That's the environment that Congress have created. Just look at what happened to Donald Trump. Now, is Donald Trump blamed for him always getting his head blown off? A lot of the stuff he's been stealing. But that doesn't mean you should go out there and try to take his head off. Most assassins that try to assassinate people in power do it because they were brainwashed into believing that that person that might attain power is a threat to their freedom. So, my advice to Donald Trump is keep the rhetoric down. I will. Marjorie Taylor Greene is another reason why I, I, Trump should distance himself. From the, the extreme right ring, he should. Because Marjorie Taylor Greene will keep spewing that bullshit out here in Georgia, and just a matter of time, some of them go out to her motherfucking ass. Same with Matt Gantz and the rest of them. It's, 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 you got some right ring motherfuckers that keep talking outside their neck. Same with the left. Some strong left wing motherfuckers. There should be a balance somewhere. And I think those are the ones that have the highest risk of having some harm brought to them. Based on what just tried to happen to Donald Trump, I think everybody should pull they need to pull their rhetoric back and focus on America. Fuck party. If you really want to make America great again, the parties need to be unified, and they they need to focus on mental health. They need to focus on putting money back into the economy. They need to focus on overall health with the obesity epidemic. Still trying to make you know semi-glutides and regular vegan you know, with them semi-glutides that got a lot of health benefits. They need to practice and make it mandatory that if you get obese on purpose, there's going to be high health care for your fat asses. They need to make it to where people will get outside and play more. If they start to restrict social media access, a lot of that will change. There's so much they can do to make America. The highway system, the building infrastructures. We're so far behind against some of these other countries. It's pathetic. Y'all see how the, the architecture in China and India and all these. Look at Europe. Like, there are some beautiful big cities. Like, I can look at Australia. America is so behind in roads and infrastructure and housing codes. It is pitiful. But it's like that because it ain't nothing get done in Congress because you got two opposing parties that just can't get along. And you got old-ass Joe Biden who is just so gun ho trying to help all the other countries instead of focus on America. And I'm not saying Joe's not a nice guy. I don't care about the shit he did in the 90s with, with, with the with the three-strike rule shit. That has nothing to do with me. All right, you got to look at what was going on during that time frame. I don't care about that. that he's an all right guy. He just isn't fit to run the country anymore. And he is so upset. He has COVID right now that he won't get out of his own way. Kamala doesn't stand a chance in hell right now, and I'm going to tell you why. Now I'm in this video. Trump got shot for his country. Even though that wasn't the intended purpose, this man took a bullet and now he is pressing forward. I'm going to leave you guys with this image here. I'm going to leave you guys with this um, picture here. I want you to see. And I want you to always... Keep this in your fucking, in, 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 in your fucking um, mind here, okay? Let's do this here. Let me share my screen. I want you guys never to forget this. This picture right here is the reason why Trump isn't going to lose the, the re-election bid. That. That picture. I mean, I want to move my face out of the way. That picture right there. That that picture, in one word, dignifies America. 
He took a bullet. Old glory blowing the background. Secret Service agents trying to protect him. Fist pumped high. There's nothing Kamala can do. There's nothing Biden can do. This would be on postcards. This would be on book covers everywhere. There's nothing you can do. This is this is more patriotic. Soldiers know what this means to fight for your country. And I like, I like I say, as a as a veteran, I'm not the biggest Trump supporter. So I don't want you guys to get this twisted. I, I, I can just see the writing on the wall to quote from Ted Nugent. Writing on the wall. This speaks more volume than anything else. This is the true embodiment of a picture paints a thousand words. Trump yelling, fight, 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 bleeding, shot, old glory blowing in the background. It's like it's like it's like the military, our flags. We're charging. We're charging towards battle. We're, we're charging. That's why the flag is opposite. That just was like Trump is charging that flag. That flag. Let me put this picture back up. Even though it's upside down, the stars are facing Trump. And the stripes are blowing back. The stars, the 50 states is facing Trump. The flag is blowing back. It's like he's charging into war. That picture alone is the reason why Kamala Harris or Joe Biden won't stand a chance in the hell at defeating Trump at this point. All because of 20 year old brainwashed and decided to take a pop shot at a man. If that would have never happened and everything would have kept playing on a trajectory, nobody knew who was going to win the election. They were still a damn near match because Trump didn't answer no questions after the, 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 the damn debate and Biden couldn't answer shit. So they were still at a, a stalemate. People were still undecided. Now you have a hero in the American people's eyes and Donald Trump because of that picture. So. I don't care if it's Kamala Harris or Joe Biden. They're not going to beat Donald Trump. They're not going to beat him because of this. That's why. You all have a good one. I'm everyone. Peace.